Um, but looking at <laughs> Knights versus Alpine just just bring us back into this game as the series is getting started off here. You know, the Knights have been a team that has been very defensive. I, I've, I've heard that too, especially from talking to a lot of pros. Uh, they, like, I think um, some teams describe them as they sit in net, quote unquote. Uh, meanwhile, you know, for, for Alpine, they've kind of adapted that a little bit, but I, I usually, I mean, the Alpine of old was really well done with the way that they were able to just, you know, create so many different things on offense. I feel like nowadays, they're a little like worried about maybe overexerting, so they haven't been you know too heavy on like the pass plays of old that we used to see from Alpine, and now we're starting to just see Alpine. I mean, as they're under a lot of pressure, we're starting to see the Knights uh, in the Alpine face off. This could go either way, but it all depends on how these two teams are kind of feeling overall as uh, we get this decider match going. Yeah, I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head, with, especially with Alpine, because I think that's why they excited a lot of people early on, is because of their super aggressive passing play style. Sosa, though, uh, you know, homage to Justin as he puts the first one in the net for the Knights. Oh, yeah, look at this. Nice look for, for Sosa. Ooh, that's right off the bar and in, too. High power shot coming out from Sosa. Knights able to get things on the board here early. Honestly... For me, I don't think we usually see this particular matchup that often, which is why it's so interesting as well. I mean, we see Jordan, though, coming down with a flip reset, and he's going to end up buying a lot of space here for Alpine. But, you know, I, I'm usually seeing the Knights either go up against, you know, a top team like NRGG2 or a team like that's in the complete opposite of the spectrum, like sipping ice cubes. But Magic Bear says he's going to get a quick equalizer here as he ends up getting a great redirect for Alpine. Yeah, this is one of those matches, first of all, nice dump from Jordan down to Magic Bear. That was perfect, catching the Knights' rotation out of uh, out of rotation, if you will. But uh, I think that, where, where was I just now? Oh, yeah, Alpine and Knights. It's one of these, like, mid-level matchups that is always really tight, but, like, not one you typically get a lot of the time, simply because, like you said, they're either playing someone below their station or above their station. And I think that's why this is turning like into something pretty special because like neither of these two teams are top teams, but like they they bring a certain entertainment to the pitch uh, at the mid level that makes them so entertaining to watch. And you wonder who's actually going to get the leg up over the other. This time it's Rodoko punching it in off the push here from the Knights. Yeah, good touch from Rodoko here, but it's really off the touch from Sosa. He got a good read. He knew that one was going to bounce off the bar or off the post, I'm sorry. And just as Percy was going up to make a challenge, you could just see that extra effort from the Knights. Was he doing up picking up this goal? And both these squads, I mean, definitely paying attention to these teams over the course of the season as the Knights have been a team that a lot of people kind of wrote off uh, early on, uh, especially as the fall split was going on. But ever since Sosa's been brought into this roster, they've been honestly, making the resume look so much better with the recent results that they've been able to do. Not necessarily the most recent as they did fall in the winter split to Forky. And honestly, I don't know if I should let them live that down just yet because uh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. still a fresh result. I mean, you lost to, you lost to Forky. Uh, I'll oh, just be honest hurt. with it. Oh, no, but yeah. they're, they're trying to redeem themselves as ZPS puts one in. Look, look, you live with that for the rest of the for the rest of the winter split at the RLCS level, right? Yeah. And then, you know, we'll just we'll jab at you to it until it's far away enough, but we're not we're not quite there. Good start here for the Knights. I I like how I like how they're pushing. They're just winning pretty solid challenges. Not nothing too difficult. They got caught out on rotation like one time, but as the defense goes, you know, and it's I think it's normal, Daz, you know, to to drop matches to teams like sipping ice cubes on a team's way to improvement because it's like at some point when you start taking down top level teams that doesn't automatically make you a top team and so many people are like oh they beat space station now they're gonna beat everybody and our team look out <laughs> no that's not how it works like they're still gonna drop matches to sipping ice cubes to forky like that's gonna happen from time to time but that's just all part of the team's rise they're gonna be dips like that but they're gonna give you these performances more often and it takes a little longer than people, I think, want or rather expect. Yeah, and for me, I feel like once the Knights start to honestly become such a capable threat on offense, 
that'll be where they really start building up uh, result after result, and we can see some consistency among them. You make a great point. They seem inconsistent in terms of the the teams that they end up playing against. How do you go and have a close series with NRG, but then you know a few weeks later end up dropping to uh, a team that had to qualify in? You know, there's yeah. there 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 is that that consistency that we want to look for with the team, but. You see the potential, and I think that's what's important to pay attention to, is right now they do have a two-goal lead. We're approaching the final minute of gameplay here. Alpine are starting to knock at the door here as they want to get a, a couple of goals to get back into it, but it's been all night so far, at least game one. Yeah, Alpine, they've had a couple of nice looks, but the, I mean, the best-looking one they had was that uh, Jordan double-flip reset attempt that he just had with all the space in the world, so I don't know how many more times he's going to get that in the next minute. But, I mean, overall, it's, it is the expectation from Alpine now where, oh, well, they actually have a breakout downfield. I like the little fake, fake play right there for the delay, but, you know, nice defense, a little tougher than that. No presence in midfield either. It's going to be tough for Alpine, but I think they've stabilized from earlier. Like, they were getting caught on a couple of really bad 50s, and Knights just run, were running around them earlier, but it's looking a little more even now. It's a nice save. Yeah, this one... Small touch into the corner, final 10 seconds, and it looks like Knights are going to end up just running away with this game one. So much offensive possession on Alpine's half, and we did see a couple of breakout plays from Alpine Esports, but not too much to talk about here, as it did seem to fall a little flat, and Knights kind of powered their way through this first game. Yeah, that was, uh, de de I think power is definitely the accurate term. A lot of good uh, approaches on the 50. ZPS uh, especially continues to improve in that aspect of his game uh, he's getting he's getting to be more and more of a threat whenever he's the next man up on the, onto the ball it's like whenever he's behind it watch out i was kind of all over zps yesterday and i uh and i still am hey des how you doing hi <laughs> <laughs> great to see you yeah right i, I you know I, i'm okay with this i'm okay with this a nice little solo cam here we have stoic dazarin and then we have uh, this is this is me when 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 it's uh, time uh -huh. to look at at like I guess if we're talking like Santa Claus like this is like the all right bad Santa Daz hello it's time we're gonna get things get, get things going okay but like now looking at this series right Jorby we're getting ready we're uh, game one all all PK alpine coming into this game too uh we talked about them being a little nervous to kind of get set up on offense and it did seem like that a little bit or it just seemed like they had such a tough time getting everything you know going or finding each other no no real connections except for that one goal that we saw from magic bear but that's my whole point when they do connect that's when they score some of their best goals. That, it just seems like that's the best way for them to get through the defense at most times. I feel like we need to see a little bit more of that in game two. No, I definitely agree. When they have like when they have multiple players around midfield that are that are in the play, that are available for a pass or otherwise, you know, I think they're gonna play a lot better. But on the back side here, you got the Knights who just can't really seem to stop finding the back of Alpine's net. Yeah. Now, now, you know, Al Alpine at this point, they do have to clean things up defensively as well as the Knights have been able to just, again, honestly, just find these small little holes and make the most of them. This one, uh, an insanely fast pass to ZPS, and he nails it. Yeah, this is starting to turn into a very hot connection between Sosa and ZPS. They connect on a lot of plays like this that they, they just, they're simple, right? There's, there's not a lot to them, but they but it's the accuracy and the power behind their passing plays and their shots that makes them so deadly in a duo because Sosa has to make that pass in traffic. It has to be fast. And if he doesn't do that, ZPS won't be able to get a solid shot on that. But their, their consistency in that manner is one of the reasons they're, you know people are so high on the Knights right now. Yeah, because they can pull these plays out constantly. And they continue to deliver as they have been this series at least scoring two goals a game but this time they do it early looking to extend that score line potentially as sosa coming up again look at him just push through the alpine defense and set his team up zps's shot will be blocked by jordan but man was that a good drive led by sosa 
and, and look at Alpine. Alpine are just flat. Nobody is up challenging anything. They can't. They're getting starved. The Knights, how long have they been on this push? It was almost 30 seconds. That's a long time to spend on your half trying to defend shots when you're not winning the boost battle. And so, like, all you can do is sit on the goal line and say, oh, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, they're going to shoot at me. What do I do? And then you score. <laughs> it's over. Like, it's just it, the importance of winning, like, just all those little things when, when it comes to facing defensive pressure. Yes. Like yeah. So, you, you, I felt like you were going to say it, but, like, yeah. I was going to say winning 50s in general. Yeah. Sosa, to start off that drive, right? And look at this. Here he is again with a Ace almost found that top corner. ZPS will try to clean it up, but it is blocked away. But it's 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 in the midfield. When you see Sosa carry it over two, that's two people who had 100 boosts in the tank, assumingly, and then they go for a challenge on him. They both miss, and now you have a star of Alpine desperately trying to rotate back, desperately trying to make saves. Though That's why those 50s are so important, especially when it's a play in the air, because you're using a lot of resources to potentially throw off a potential, uh, uh, to throw off an offensive play, and if you don't yeah. deliver, then you just put yourself in that much of a worse spot as another goal comes through. Sosa is going to have a hat trick. Oh, they're crushing them on it, too. Even when they finally got the ball out. See, that, then that's the, that's the double-edged sword of it. You finally get the challenges out. Now, the whole way before, Magic Bear, you know, he worked his he worked the whole way down the left side of the pitch. No boost, won a couple of challenges and got downfield, right? But there weren't, there's the, the, the economy on the pitch, if you will. It, all the boost was gone. Like, the Knights had taken all of it. But then Alpine still positioned as if they had more boost in the tank than they actually did. And so it was the easiest transition for the Knights because where was anyone on Alpine when Knights went the distance in like three seconds? No challenges or anything. Yeah. It's like you got to be able to position in those situations when you know you're getting starved on boost. Yes, it sucks to be passive when you're down three nothing, but like you can't position as if the ball's like optimistic positioning is the best way to put it in a crunched amount of words. And, and I mean, this this is a a offensive streak that keeps on giving. Maybe the Knights are trying to give us a lot of goals as their gift to us for the holidays. <laughs> it seems like it's working, right? They got four goals. Alpine have been in a drought as Jordan tries to find a shot. That's going to be his fourth shot of the game and hasn't been able to come up with much here as Alpine are starting to struggle. Mainly need to stop the bleeding here uh, for, that has been caused by this PK offense. The Knights again, four goal lead. Last game, they, had, they ended up scoring three. And it does seem like Alpine is starting to stabilize here a little bit, but not for long as Knights can clearly clear away the danger. Alpine still diving at a lot of these, but I think that as long as they stabilize, Jordan gets a nice little flick right there. Now, they're not out of the match just yet, but this is certainly a demoralizing game too, I think. That's a nice shot. And then, see, dreams ruined. Oh, we'll finally get a goal. We can feel good heading into the game. Nah, no goals. You don't get anything, but this is a good push. Okay. Oh, no. He blocked him again. <laughs> That's not fair, ZPS. That's looking rough. This is like a rough for Alpine. At this point, they can't get anything going here in game two. 45 seconds remaining, and Knights have just been controlling everything. They've been all, oh, oh, good Lord. Alpine, I mean, they're starting Do to scramble here. Do not recommend trying at home, for sure. Yeah, well, that's a good block, but even then, the lack of follow-up here. Is Alpine, again, are trying to scrap together a play in the final 30 seconds, but... It's looking like the Knights are going to walk away with this game, too. They started off strong, and they are holding Alpine as they try to shut them out here. This, is, this was still a good progression at the end by Alpine. They had short up the rotations, weren't caught, or second man wasn't caught kind of in no man's land too often on these last couple pushes. And so, so we'll get one for the road, his fourth goal <laughs> in this game. But the, uh, the Knights got to be feeling really good about their position. I, I think they're in prime position, prime sweeping position now after game two. This was not even close. And yeah. Alpine, they have, to, they have to start the next game with some sort of confidence or positivity. Otherwise, this downpour of Knights offense is going to, you know, flood the entire Alpine half. Yeah. The entire mountainside death. That's, that's dangerous. That's that, a lot of water, dude. It's a lot, that is a lot of water. 
Um, yeah, that, that we're, we're talking about sea le sea levels rising, kind of. You know, oh, like flooding. You talk, talk about like high tide. Yeah. Oh my. Alpine, okay. Alpine are hitting the high tide. It's that, not that's, pretty right now. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> they, they do have a couple of games to see how they will fare, though. I mean, I think the biggest thing right now, you know, I've talked about them and, and how they've been looking so far on, or like what they've needed to do on offense, but it really has to come through with, with the defense here. And I think, honestly, yeah. just getting in front of a lot of these plays that we're seeing PK make in the midfield is a start. I think it's a start. I think it is too. I, I think that they have a they have a good chance to to reset here. But like uh, game three is typically always the most important game in a best of seven, especially when you're down 0-2. and it has to be right now. Like we can't go into game four and Alpine be like, okay, we just got to you know reset the mindset and everything's okay. No, because that's a grueling place to be. Like you have to be mentally in tune with the fact that you're one game away from from being eliminated. But you know, in this situation, it's a, it's a little more relaxed. You can relax a little bit. You can slow down, take a look at the pitch, uh, and just try to rely on your field awareness more and not so much on winning on the ball, like more focused beyond the ball in those special situations. It's just to maintain that focus. Uh, that's what's going to have to happen. So, the offense isn't going to stop tonight. They might start over the world with us. Jeremy, you sound like you are under sea level. <laughs> oh, no. Why is that happening? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, don't, I don't understand. Oh, I hear you now. You sound so much clearer. Oh, great. Well, Percy scored, so that's cool. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that Look magic at pass. Oh. Yes. Oof. Clean. Clean. How long has got... Magic Pack been in a Fennec? Mm, it's, I, I feel think like it's this is the, the first tournament I'm seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it was on acting game one, and then for the next couple of games, he swapped to the Finnick. I mean, everyone, Owen Alpine has ended up swapping cars. I think Percy and Jordan started the series off in Octanes because they were showing off the decal. And now mm. you see them just swapping. Jordan, I think, is on the Finnick. And Percy, I think, is on the Dom. So a lot of, a lot of different yeah. car changes here. And you can tell Alpine, they, they're, they're trying to get back into it. They're trying to at least feel better. And that's usually what, what it comes down to when you see kind of car changes from these players. If something's not working, uh, I mean, you can tell from Justin almost every game in a series, he changes decals. It's just those minor changes, just kind of... It's a weird placebo to have, I'd say, but hey, if it works, it works. And it has been working for Alpine. They've gotten the first goal of the game. I say that, and the net's wide <laughs> open and, and ZPS scores. But they sh did show some good offense there for the moment. Yeah, no, that was good offense. The What, what died there was that horrendous third man challenge that should have never happened but regardless I, I you know i think that a lot of people look at the car changes the decal changes and stuff and they they might think it's silly or they might think the player is just like you know that's a that's a they're in a bad mental state well it's like no they're just they don't feel like they're in the correct mental state and there is something to say at this level about you know anchors about having like a, a decal that you're comfortable with where you've popped off wearing like wearing those wheels or or, the, or that decal and at this level that kind of mental uh connectivity matters like that that matters so if that player's not feeling comfortable and they switch like that switching like the visuals alone could literally be enough to help their mentality and make them more consistent because oh, that's man. the hardest that's the hardest thing you shouldn't have set me up for this so that being said, <laughs> Magic Bear, Magic Bear is rocking the Your Bands Fennec. If you guys are curious, I think it's a painted Your Bands Fennec. Um, no, I think it's actually a regular one because he has two of the lines the same. Yeah, painted ones have like. Usually, you can tell if they have like all three colors that are different. But he's rocking the Your Bands Fennec, which is a drop. So, for, <laughs> for my drop heads in the chat, keep <laughs> watching. <laughs> Keep watching. I usually don't pander, but like you, you to chat at least. But you, you, you set me up. You set me up. No, that's fair. That's fair. Total relevance. I love the plug. Anyways, Percy, look at that move from Percy. That was excellent. That, that's just that's what the Dominus can do. Octane won't push the ball out that hard. With the way he was going, he had no forward momentum at all, so he had to save his flip, and his his forward flip isn't gonna have as much momentum behind it. Look at ZPS. Oh, I thought I thought Sosa was gonna go, but he didn't, and that was very sad. But that challenge was good, looking so good. Yeah. Now wait. Oh. He still comes out with this. What? Knights end up scoring, taking the lead here. 
Oh, it's a touch from magic. Ah, uh, yep. Just oh, that's unfortunate too. Yeah. I don't know what this. I don't know what else to say about that one. That's yeah. just unfortunate. Like, <laughs> I mean, he he wants to get a, like a power touch off to the side, and oh. sometimes you know, the the the, the car disagrees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ain't ain't that the truth? I'll never no. say I'll never say it's my fault. I'll never say it's my. I'll just say yeah, the, the card just wasn't wasn't a good hitbox was weird on that one. Yeah, server, yeah, server. <laughs> What's my need ping? A change, need a change. I usually have eight ping, sixteen unplayable. Oh look at this! <gasps> no, it was too fast. Oh, I believed in Percy's shot, but that ball jet passed him on the pass. I like that whole structure though. They like found they like weaved the whole gap to the defense. That camera angle we have is perfect. Yeah, and big shout out to production too for the cams. Now looking at this, it's been a one goal game here. And this has been the closest it's been all series. In favor of Alpine, that was almost a great shot from Magic Bear. ZPS with an even better save on it. As Alpine starting to knock at the door here in the Knights. We get into the final minute of gameplay. And there's definitely, you can definitely see the change here as Magic Bear plays it in front. Jordan looks for the shot, but it's blocked off. Oh man, Alpine. You look so much better in this game. This is the one you need to win. Oh, coming back from 0-3. Oh, that's such a that's such a hard journey. But look, they got plenty of time. Look at the set from Jordan. Oh, it's cleared away again. This nice defense is so fast on the transition, Des. Rodoko is in the perfect spot, and he kicked it. Oh, I like look at that. He pulls it out, sees Rodoko, and my goodness. Just the best arc towards the net. And Alpi once again scored three goals. They've averaged at least three goals a game here this series. Oh. They look I just to make it a, Dads, I just thought of a great call that someone could have one day for, hmm. for a goal like that in like a high stakes land grand final. Hmm. It could be like he hits the golden parabola. Like that's what I would have called Rodoko's shot there. That seems cheesy and a little nerdy. But uh you know, the Knights, they're crushing them now. Alpine hanging on. What, 45 seconds ago? Or not even 40, 20 seconds ago. It was 2-1. Golden <sighs> parabola. I'm totally not writing this down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, 20 uh, seconds left. And... See, the thing is, the thing is, that one is one you definitely can't kick out in, unless it is a high-stakes situation. So, like, whoever gets there first and gets that shot gets the call. I don't care. I'm laying it out into the public public space. I think at that moment, I would still shout you out. I'd be like, Golden Parabola, <laughs> shout out, Jorby. Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be screaming, the Golden Parabola! <laughs> shout out, Jorby! <laughs> <laughs> the Knights trying to sweep Alpine. It's almost 4-0. It's a 3-0, though, and... Last two games, it's 9-1. What did the Knights win game one by? It was 3-0, I think. No, I think it so was 3-1. 3-1, so 12-2 in goal score. Yeah. That's not that's not what you want, Alpine. That's not very good. Mm, not looking good at all for Alpine. Uh, again, this one is to make sure that you go into the playoff bracket starting in the upper half of the bracket. And I think that's you know something that the Knights seem to be very very interested in i'm not with stacks so i can say it maybe they just want it more as we get ready to load <laughs> into game number four uh, it, it, it does seem like that at least i mean alpine are definitely giving it their best shot but knights seem to have their number here in this series i mean have you seen like have you seen the knights on defense alpine it wasn't for lack of trying that they couldn't score like they had a lot of really good pushes like we saw more of the passing that we wanted out of them Daz, but then like, the Knights just came up with some wonky saves. Like, ZPS and Sosa and Rodoko, all of them had some crazy saves at some point. Uh, and then it was the follow-ups after that. It was always into another Knights player. Alpine were almost never in a position to challenge that follow-up. While they were able to maintain possession in midfield. What? Oh, look, big look kickoff. Here we go. Oh, Aww. nope, you lost. You lost Aww. it. Oh, my gosh. You go for the big kickoff and you get... That's not how that's supposed to work. At least... What? No! No! Dang. That's like... 
Oh, I'm trying to think of an analogy, Dad, and it? I can't. That one was brutal, man. I don't Is know. It diagonal? Oh, it's a diagonal. Pain. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? What? Alpine, hello? Percy! Somebody! Where are you oh, going? Oh, oh, man. He just he cheated a little too hard there. That's bad. Oh, you gotta stay. You gotta stay square on the kickoff. If you're gonna cheat up. Don't pick a side. At least in that situation. Yeah, yeah that's just. I, I feel like we both had just had a moment of silence for Alpine on <laughs> yeah. that whole thing, man. <laughs> like I don't know how else to say it. Okay, well, let's, we'll see if, whether or not they can regain it. It's not yeah. been the best start. Ah, uh, no way. Oh, dude. You just got cursed so hard. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, man. Sosa it, straight up sniped him. It's worse because it's they're all roller goals, right? Like, are they like, yeah. they're, it's it's all, op the net's just open every time. <laughs> so you just, you're just watching the ball roll into the net. You're like, well, mm. Alpine are just crashing the middle of the field thinking that they're gonna get the touch and it's like well Sosa got you again Sosa credible indeed Although maybe some credit should be given to Alpine Yeah, this point Whew. Okay, Knights uh, have still kept their average of three goals a game. That was almost a <laughs> solid pass between Magic Bear and Percy though Ooh, Jordan keeps nice it in save. play and Rodoko is able there to clear it out Dude. for now. Mm. Again, the follow-ups, dude. Like, Rodoko's in the perfect spot for that follow-up. He's just got the beat on the play. Oh, yeah. That's, that's all. That's the, that's the passing statement I wanted to make on Rodoko's follow-up. And that little, ooh, little kick out in front of the box. It's looking awkward. Jordan used all of his boost to get into position, and then he did nothing. And now he has no boost. He has to, he's sitting in the corner on that pad. And Magic Bear has the ball just floating over him both ways. And finally, the Knights put it into the net. Like, a whole cavalcade of disaster just materialized in front of this box. What in the world? Yeah, that's... It just felt like, like Alpine, they're playing reactionary defense, and you just see Knights kind of just dancing around. Rodoko has no, like, want to hit the ball. He's just, I'll fly in front of you guys while ZPS gets in position, and then I'll get out the way and let him shoot. It's fine. Meanwhile, Magic Bear looking for that top corner. Or, he got the air dribble at least, and Sosa able to block it out. Transition goal? Ooh! Almost. almost. Oh, he almost got it on the rebound. Nice push. I really like how the Knights look. As much as I know we've been kind of kicking down Alpine a bit, but just from how the start of the game went. But after that, I mean, this is just solid play from, Al uh, from the Knights. Like, Alpine have brought him a couple of really good looks, but... Like their their ability to save uh, on the goal off the backboard or on the goal line, really good. Like Alpine could have scored so many solid opportunities, but it was just they got outplayed. It, like they just just straight up got outplayed in this match. There's no other way to put it. Yeah, it's a, this one's been pretty much all night so far. Alpine could be like I probably say their their goals per game at this point is sitting at like point fifty. Meanwhile, Ooh. Knights have been leaning towards four. It's been a mess, at least in terms of like getting things kind of set up on offense. But I mean, besides that, the defense has been not what you would expect here from from Alpine Esports. I mean, they'll still be fine overall. It's just for the for for the decider match to see whether or not you're going to start uppers or lowers or not. Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> at this point, just in the game, it's over. <laughs> no, nope. in the Where's game. The <laughs> Patch notes tomorrow. Psionix has added a forfeit button to private matches. <laughs> what? Like, I'm mad for them that that didn't go in. Dude, see. <laughs> the worst part is that the Knights scored on that. Like, every time a crazy save just turns into a transition goal, Daz. How is this happening? <gasps> they got one! Oh, they got one! Let's go. Oh yeah, that's that's a solid read from Percy. Okay. They they, they end up coming up here with one. Not minute bad. 40, minute forty two left. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty of time 
here. They're only down by four. Only. Uh-oh. <laughs> I actually thought that they were going to... It looked like they tried to go for almost another fake kickoff play. Yeah, we know how that worked last time. No, for sure, guys. Second time, they'll never see it coming after we completely botched the first one. Oh, I man. Think... I feel bad now. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going in a little hard. I, I, can, I can settle down on it a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna say the only the only team I think that has ever tried like two fake kickoffs in the wow. Okay. What? Okay. This 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 like crossbar is mean today. It is not very friendly, is it? Mm -hmm. That was. Well then, straight down, straight down. Just what an odd series, Daz. This has been an odd one. Knights are looking for the Brazil at this point. As we have like a minute left and. Ooh, so that's close. There's no way. Dude. Dude. There's no way. How in the world? Oh, man. I honestly don't understand how. So, Rodoko, on that whole passing play, he saw the last man yeah. the whole way downfield. And he just he just lined himself up with him the whole time. He's like, I know exactly where this whole play is going. It was, you know. <laughs> but then that turnaround save, dude. Like, I'm sorry, Alpine. It's just not your day. Oh, it's, it's not. just not your day. They're banking. So this play right here, right? They're banking. You see Percy and I believe Magic Bear both go downfield. But Jordan gets demoed immediately. And as soon as Jordan tries to like respawn back in, like it's already in the net. It, but they, they were banking yeah. a lot on like Jordan to just be able to like clear the ball downfield And I guess they didn't see anyone from the Knights behind them probably because no one's looking behind them And then it's just a demo into an open net It has been that easy for the Knights They're playing with they're playing with house money for about a minute and a half now but Very solid performance by the Knights very rare mistakes uh, very rare to see mistakes on defense overall. Uh, their challenge game has been on point and field awareness S tier in this match. Like, it just felt like they knew exactly how Alpine wanted to play. And I think, you know, Daz, when we got some of those wide shots, I think we could really see it when Alpine were actually like stretched on a push for like a passing play down the field. Mm -hmm. And the Knights were always structured to, to cover everybody. So if they didn't win the challenge, at some point, the the stop gap is third man. They'd always be able to defend it at the end. Like they had it red before the passing play ever started. So I think that's that really benefited the Knights. Yeah. So you know, at a day where we started off with a couple of game seven, Alpine are making it move just a hair faster with getting swept from the Knights. I mean, or maybe I should say Knights at this point, as Knights do end up taking this series in a sweep. And before we get too deep into it, we're going to send it off to a quick break. We'll be right back to break down that series. Welcome back to the second Rocket League Summit. It has been a day so far for a day in, a, in an event that has been, you know, long in terms of series. You look at a lot of Game 7s. This one was about as one-sided and easy-looking as it could be for the Knights. Yeah, that was the, that's, the, that's the positive push way to put it, James, I think. For sure, yeah, uh, Dazrin. What, like, what, what, what went wrong for Alpine? Uh, let's the short version. Everything, <laughs> <laughs> everything went wrong. Uh, but uh, I guess um, if, if we really want to dive deep here, the Knights came out with just so much offensive energy. And I mean, they play very solid Rocket League all the way through. They were ready for any mistakes Alpine had to take advantage of those opportunities. And the punishment, I mean, dished out at least three to four goals per game every game of the series. And Alpine struggled to find any answer. And were, honestly, they were caught out a lot by PK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Jarby, what were some of your favorite moments from this match, whether it was Knights offense, defense? What, what were the big moments for you? Oh, the big moments were the Knights defense, honestly, because so, so much of the Knights offense were generated from transitions off of crazy saves. like it, And it was from great play on, uh, on the backboard 
and the goal line from all three players. Like I can't, ju I can't just point to Sosa, to ZPS, or Rodoko in particular, who was like stepping up on defense because everybody was, and they were not only that, but the the more important part of those defensive stands were the follow ups. The second man on those defensive rotations every time had the beat on the play beyond the ball, and so had an immediate follow up, which turned into nasty transitions for Alpine. Knights had Alpine's number, like it. it it felt like they could see two steps ahead of Alpine every time. Yeah, and, and the Knights and Alpine, they continually go back and forth on, you know, for me personally, who I think the better team is. After this series, the Knights inching ahead. And Alpine, they're going to have to go now into the next phase of, the, of this summit event in the lower bracket, which means that they only have one life left. And uh, that's a big deal. So the Knights get a win here, and it was convincing. Space Station and the Knights finishing at the top of Group A. Alpine, they did make it through. They'll be in the lower bracket, and Version 1 eliminated. We have our final seeding decider match coming up, and that'll be coming at you right after the break.